the first group okay we have many groups uh, in our in the in its company those stakeholders who are interested to know about um, the use of accounts who uses the accounts of a business which group would analyze or which groups will analyze a company's accounts like uh, calculating ratios this is the only as it is only the accounts of public limited companies that have to be published we shall concentrate on the users and users of these accounts okay we have the following groups here that have an interest in a public limited company's accounts and the ratios based on them and the first group is the group of managers they will be able to have much more detailed and frequent accounting information than any of the other groups. Now, what they use the accounts for? The managers okay, will use the accounts to help them control over the performance of each product or division of the business. Managers will be able to identify which parts of the business are performing well or poorly. Accounting data will help in decision making. For example, whether to expand the business, change the price levels, or close down a product or division that's not doing well. The managers will calculate accounting ratios too. Ratios are very useful in a quick way for managers to compare their company's profit, performance, and liquidity. Ratio results may be compared with the other years and other businesses. You see the example here in this uh, uh, slide. Okay. It is important to compare accounting rates in these two ways. One ratio is a uh, one ratio result on its own means very little. Okay, let's check this example with these two companies, Hertwood Trading Company Limited, ROCE, or Return on Capital Employed. In 2018, it's 12%. Okay. Is, it, is this a good or bad result? This question can only be answered by managers looking at past results and those of their com of other companies for example here is an additional or some additional information the same company heard to a trading company roce in 2017 is 5.8 so there was an increase in the roce in west bay trading company limited another company the roce in the same year 2018 is 20% here, which is higher, see here, higher than Hertwood's ROCE. Now, the managers of Hertwood Trading can make realistic comparisons. Their company is performing more effectively than in the previous year. Okay, it shows here 5.8 to 12%. But there is a big but here. It still needs to improve further to equal the performance and profitability of one of the company's closest rivals. So it's very clear. Okay, why do we compare with the past years to check whether the company is doing well? And um, the managers may use also the ratios to check their level or their uh, performance with against the performance of another company in this case it is very clear they have seen that they're in they have the ROCE 12 percent only same year with another company it's 20 percent so it's obvious that they have to uh, improve further to equal the performance and profitability of one of the company's closest drivers. They could monitor these ratios. Okay. Another group, another group of uh, uh, interested uh, stakeholders. Why are they interested in this 
public limited companies accounts the shareholders okay here limited companies are owned by shareholders and they have a legal right to receive the published accounts each year okay what they use the accounts for the shareholders and potential investors remember they are potential investors they want to know from the income statement how big a profit or loss the company made. The profitability ratio results paired with the last year's and the higher the profitability ratio results are, okay, the more likely shareholders are to want to invest by buying more shares in the company. They will want to know from the statement of financial position if the business is worth more at the end of the year than it was at the beginning. Okay. They will also assess the liquidity of the business. They do not want to invest in a company with serious cash or liquidity problems. Okay. We have another group here, the creditors. Okay. These are other businesses which have supplied the goods to the company without yet receiving. The statement of financial position will indicate to creditors that the company has to pay back and the cash position of the company. Okay, liquidity ratios, especially when compared to the previous year, will indicate the ability of the company to pay back all its creditors on time. If this result suggests the company has a liquidity problem, suppliers may refuse to supply goods on credit. Of course, they will be a little bit scared. They will be anxious. They will be hesitant to lend money, supply or resources to the company. Okay, the next group uh, are the banks. Why are they interested? This may have lent money to the company on a short term basis or on a long term basis. They will use the accounts in a similar way to creditors. If the business seems to be at risk of becoming illiquid, okay, cash is not flowing, it is unlikely that a bank will be willing to lend more. There will be a limitation already. Okay, the next stakeholders, the government. Why is the government interested to know, to get into this uh, accounts? The government, the tax office will want to check on the profit tax paid by the company. If the company is making a loss, this might be bad news for the government's control of the whole economy especially if it means that workers' jobs may be lost. Okay. Another group is the workers and trade unions group. The workers and trade unions will want to assess whether the future of the company is secure or not. In addition, if, and in addition, if managers are saying that they cannot afford to give workers a pay rise, it would be useful for the workers and the unions to assess whether the profits of the company are increasing or not. Another is the here other businesses, especially those in the same industry. The managers of other companies may be considering a bid to take over the company or they may just wish to compare the performance of the business with that of their own. Businesses will compare their performance and profitability with others in the same industry. Okay, let us try to see uh, from your book uh, on page 318 the limitations of using accounts and ratio analysis. Okay. All of the users of accounts we mentioned earlier need to remember that ratio analysis does not provide all the answers to many questions. And they, uh, the questions they have 
about the performance and financial strengths of a business. And here you'll find that this is like the limitations of using accounts and ratio analysis. What are the limitations? First bullet we have the managers will have access to all accounts data. But external users will only have will only be able to use the public published accounts which contain only data, only the data required by law. Ratios are based on past accounting data and may not indicate how a business will perform in the future. So for record records purposes only. Now the accounting data over time will be affected by inflation or rising prices. And comparisons between years may be misleading. The lastly, uh, lastly the the bullet here, uh, bullet number four, says different companies may use slightly different accounting methods. For example, in valuing their fixed assets. These different methods could lead to different ratio results, therefore making comparisons difficult. You'll find here the revision summary of business accounts. Uh, we have discussed that we must be familiar with this revision uh, summary illustration so that uh, we can test ourselves whether we could uh, present the topic in our own words, on our own, and this is also, this will serve also as your revision for the topic if you are facing a quiz, pop quiz, or uh, uh, exam, midterm exams, or finals. And, or the mid-year exams, the revision summary illustrations are very useful. So we have this one, and all everything we discuss, we have discussed in this presentation, are embedded in this illustration. We have another one that will follow uh, after a few slides. Okay, let's go to another case study using ratios to help make decisions, which is found on page 18 of your, 318 of your text. So the case study reads on, and you have all the data, pertinent data here, and we shall go on answering activity 26.3, which refers to this case study. Okay, I hope you have your book with you, so we can go on answering the questions in this, in, 26.3. This is the case study activity 26.3. Now, we have five questions here, and each of these questions here are answered on the next slide. Okay. Now, this is uh, just a revision of what we have discussed, and I will leave this for you as your guide answers. You may answer the questions in the activity in activity 26.3 and refer to this guide answers later to check against your answers okay so there you go we have five answers to the five questions in activity 26.3 and this is what I was talking to you about another revision summary about ratio analysis Okay, it would be better to revise in this manner so that um, everything will be in your memory. Is on this topic. These are the formulas we have start. Uh, we have uh, taken up in this chapter. Okay, so let's go to the international business and focus. And in this uh, particular presentation, we have the Royal Dutch Shell Public Limited Company. Okay. Uh, as it reads on, on page 319 of your textbook, we have the case presented and the situation presented. Also, on page 300, our, uh, the discussion points, I will leave it to you kindly answer them and send your answers to me via Discord or WhatsApp.
Okay, now going back to our uh, exam style questions found on page 321. Okay, yes, here we go. The first exam style question, short answer and lead the response, which is also found in your textbook. Okay, we have the case situation is here and we have the questions A, B, C, D, E. All right. These are the guide answers to question number one. And for question number two, I'm sorry, uh, the answers to question number, D, uh, number two will be left for you to answer as well. Okay, A, B, C, D, E. Now, Question number two and three, we have all the answers here. Number two, and for number three. Okay, so you can go back to these slides for your easy reference. Okay, so we have three questions uh, in the revision. Uh, questions from the booklet, we have more. We have ten, I think. Questions number four, numbers, question numbers four, five, and six, and the answers are four, five, six here. For seven, eight, nine, and ten, you'll find the answers here. Okay. Right. Now we have the MCQs from the booklet. Let's take note of our answer, MCQ number one. The formula for the return on capital employed ratio is here, number three. And for question number two, the formula for the gross profit margin in percent is here, number three. The formula for the net profit margin in percent is here. Number four, company's net profit margin fell from 15% last year to 12% this year. The best explanation to this, for this change is overhead expenses rose by more than sales revenue. Okay, with reference to page 314. Number five, Next slide, we have, for questions 4, 5, and 6, we have to refer to this data in the document from Spice Company Limited ending March 31st, 2013. Okay, so for question number 4, the gross profit margin was, right, 33.3%, and the net profit margin was 10%. Okay, and we have here number seven, the return on capital employed was uh, 75%. Return on capital employed, the formula is uh, ROC, net profit. Okay, 50 minus 35 is 15, okay, divided by the capital employed. So 15 divided by 200. Let's try to work it out in our uh, calculators. There you go. 15,000 divided by what the capital employed is here, 200,000. Okay, times 100 is 7.5. Okay, so we have it there. Number one, for number seven, the answer is one. 
Let's go to number 8. For questions 8 and 9, we will make use of this data. Number 8, the value of the company's current ratio was... Using our formula, this will be our answer. For number 9, the value of the company's acid test ratio was... Okay, it should be 1. The formula, acid test. Okay, we have current assets here. 45. Minus inventories, 25,000, divided by current liabilities here, 30. We have 66.67 or times 100. just moving the decimal point right here. So it's 0 0.67. The answer is number one. Okay, for the last, is this the last? No, we have three more. Okay, number 10, the liquidity of our business is declining. Which one of the following statements best explain this code? We have here the business is finding it more difficult to pay short term debts. Number 11, it's one of the following statements about accounting ratio analysis is correct. We will consider choice number two. Many stakeholders groups find ratio results useful. For the last MCQ, one of the drawbacks to ratio analysis or disadvantage of accounts. Analysis of accounts is here. Business in different industries can be expected to have very different ratio results. Okay, so that's all for our MCQs in chapter 26 from the booklet. Okay, we have for you a sure task. The end of question, end of section case study. Read this case, and you have the appendices there, appendix and appendix two. And here are the questions one to four. Work on it and uh, send your answers to me by a direct message in our Discord account. And what's up? Once again, thank you for um, your time and shared time with me. And always be safe, be healthy, and happy virtual learning, especially with your other subjects. Okay, bye for now.